Please subscribe for more videos. Click the bell icon for updates. Can you solve this problem in 3 seconds? In rectangle length and breadth in a ratio 5 is to 3, the length increases 16% and breadth decreases by 24%. Find out how much percentage perimeter increases or decreases. Well, the answer is yes if you know this trick. If we see ratios in problem, we can apply this formula. That is, take ratio of x and y, x is to y, then the formula is x by x plus y into plus or minus length percentage plus y by x plus y into plus or minus breadth percentage. In this formula, we will use plus symbol if length or breadth are increased and we use minus symbol if length or breadth are decreased. Let's go to the problem now. We can see 5 is to 3 ratio in problem. So we can use this formula that is x by x plus y into plus or minus length percentage plus y by x plus y into plus or minus breadth percentage. The x value is 5 and y value is 3 and length increased by 16% and breadth decreased by 24%. So we can use plus 16 and minus 24 in the formula. That is 5 by 5 plus 3 into plus 16 plus 3 by 5 plus 3 into minus 24. 5 by 8 into 16 minus 3 by 8 into 24. 8 times 2 is 16 and 8 times 3 is 24. So 5 into 2 is 10 minus 3 into 3 is 9. 10 minus 9 is 1. But we need to know whether the perimeter is increased or decreased. For that, whenever you get positive value in the answer, that says perimeter is increased. Whenever you get negative value in the answer, that says perimeter is decreased. As we got positive value 1%, so perimeter got increased. So the answer is 1% increase in the perimeter. Let's see another example. In rectangle length and breadth in a ratio 2 is to 1, the length increases 9% and breadth decreases by 24%. Find out how much percentage perimeter increases or decreases. We can see 2 is to 1 ratio in problem. So we can use this formula that is x by x plus y into plus or minus length increase or decrease percentage plus y by x plus y into plus or minus breadth increase or decrease percentage. The x value is 2 and y value is 1 and length increased 9% and breadth decreased by 24%. So we use plus 9 and minus 24 in the formula. That is 2 by 2 plus 1 into plus 9 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 into minus 24. 2 by 3 into 9 minus 1 by 3 into 24 3 times 3 is 9 and 3 times 8 is 24. So 2 into 3 is 6 minus 1 into 8 is 8. 6 minus 8 is minus 2. But we need to know whether the perimeter is increased or decreased. For that, whenever you get positive value in answer that says perimeter is increased. Whenever we get negative value in the answer that says perimeter is decreased. As we got negative value which is minus 2 percentage, so perimeter got decreased here. So the answer is 2% decrease in perimeter. If you understand this concept, try solving the below problems and comment us your answers. Problem number 1. In rectangle length and breadth, in a ratio 4 is to 3, the length increases 21% and breadth decreases by 28%. Find out how much percentage perimeter increases or decreases. 2. 
in rectangle length and breadth in a ratio 2 is to 1, the length decreases 9% and breadth decreases by 24%. Find out how much percentage perimeter increases or decreases. Number 3. In rectangle length and breadth in a ratio 5 is to 1, the length increases 12% and breadth decreases by 24%. Find out how much percentage perimeter increases or decreases. Please subscribe for more videos. Click the bell icon for updates.